Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Training. In this tutorial, we will learn about the important concept in Selenium that is frames. A frame is an HTML tag that is used to divide a page into multiple sections. Now, if you want to embed some content or some advertisement inside a web page, we can do that with the help of iframes. So, in simple terms, a web page inside a web page is called a frame. So, how we can deal uh, with that in our Selenium? So, let us see that. I will hit it uh, URL chase.com. This is a huge banking sector in the foreign countries. So, you can you guys can practice in this website and you will have a good experience. Trust me, because this website has taught me many things. All right, once you click on the sign in button here, it will direct you to the home page. It is taking around uh, three to four seconds to direct you to the home page. And once it directs you, there we need to enter the credentials. It's, it's uh, getting up. All right, guys. So, I will be uh, we uh, our goal is to enter credentials in these two boxes and click also on the checkbox that is that's not important but the important thing is I want to enter my credentials here and I will not be uh, clicking on the sign in button because as we know the credentials are wrong right guys let me create a simple class file this project I have uh, created in my previous videos and inside it I have added all types of jar files so right now let's create a simple class file called frames and test all right so the first step in selenium is to invoke the chrome browser so let me copy the code from here i'm sure you must be aware of the, these things let me import the jar files all right so the first step to get started is to direct to the URL so let me copy the URL from here chase all right right so we'll begin our execution So when you enter the chase.com it will direct you to this url and here we will inspect we have to click on the sign in button so let us inspect this button so we are getting these details and if you know we don't have any id or uh, we don't have any tag name here so we will be generating one x path here as you know i have showed you the trick here i'll show it again press ctrl f from your uh, keyboard and one search bar will pop up all right guys so let us create a simple x path what is the unique thing here you know the unique thing is here this data pt name no login so let me copy this thing and paste it here all right let me paste it here now this is the value of the attribute the attribute is a data pt name all right guys let's copy it here i'm sure i have explained it in briefly in xpath uh, the locators where i showed you how you can locate an element with the help of all types of locators all right guys so this is not a correct syntax of uh, xpath so let me just add the braces and the tag name is a it is using anchor tag double slash a and one more thing is here at the rate of so this is a successful x path that we have created because it is highlighting the element all right copy this from here this is a button we need to click on it right driver dot find element by x path copy the x path and paste it here and what we have to do it we have to click on it all right guys now once you click on the sign in button all right guys it is taking some sort of time so let me add some timer here thread dot sleep and let's add 
five seconds for example all right guys it is throwing an exception so add throws declaration all right so once you are on this page we need to inspect on these elements so here are the details you can choose any type of details i think we have id here no we don't have id here we have yeah we have id here here is the id so let me copy the id right id is faster than xpath driver dot find element by dot id dot send keys you know when we have to and send some data to any box to any text text box we use a method called send keys i'm sure you must be aware now so let me just add any data says all right guys now once the username section is completed let's move to password section all right guys for the password we also have id so let me copy this from here and paste it below and copy it again and paste it here all right guys 1 to 3 right guys so as per our uh, script it should go to this website and it should enter the credentials so let us see the execution first to understand what happens let me maximize the window here driver dot dot manage dot window dot maximize all right guys let us execute the script once so we can understand what we have to deal with now as per uh, the path locators these are successfully uh, located and we are expecting that it should enter the credentials chase and chase 123 all right one chrome browser is invoked and it will direct to the url here it will click on the sign in button as we have mentioned in the script it has failed somewhere line 16 here it has failed so what is the exception no such element exception okay no such uh, element exception this is also sometimes asked in the interviews so it means the element path is getting mismatched all right guys so let's check it once again let's copy this path from here and let's inspect this element press control f and paste this x path let's see if it no it is not highlighting the element i think let's try it once more yeah guys you see the path has changed in just a couple of minutes so this is the website that i was talking about this is a pretty secure website all right guys now if you if are if you are facing any sort of issues while working on this uh, website please mention in the comments all right now let me just replace it with this thing all right now it has highlighted the path i think this will work now all right guys so let's paste it all right guys so let's execute the script once more time all right guys guys this is a very secure website 
trust me once uh, yeah one browser will be invoked now and it will go to the home page i hope it should click this time on the sign in button right it has clicked on the sign in button now as per the expectations it should enter the credentials now it has not entered the credentials why we have given it the successful path but why it's showing that element no such element exception right guys because because this thing is inside a frame and if you want to handle a frame you need to switch to that particular frame now how we can know how many frames are available in a web page or not all right as we know the frame uh, iframe tag is used to embed the new documents so in our script we will run a command the command will be to get the size of the frame item so that it will help us to check how many frames are available in the web page the command is driver dot find elements because this time we have to find elements more than one element because we don't know how many iframe tags are used in this uh, web page all right by dot tag name we will search it with tag name and the tag name is iframe and we will get the size all right guys and we will press this print this information all right guys so let's leave it here let's focus here now how we can check whether it's got a frame or not so inspect on this element here inspect on the full page here all right guys or you can scroll up to find the iframe tag you can see here we have one iframe all right guys and this particular iframe is selecting the entire document from the back side if you can see if you can see again you see i am inspecting on this iframe tag and behind uh, and the entire web page is getting highlighted at the back side you see now first thing is we need to tell our selenium script that there is a frame and you need to get to the frame so the id of the frame is logon box all right guys so let me just tell the uh, selenium that there is a frame for that driver dot find element by dot id all right and the id is that we copied log on box we don't have to click we have nothing to do we have to store this in a web element all right guys web element ele import the packages for web element you can choose any object i have just mentioned here ele right now we need to tell the selenium script that please move to the frame first before execution so to move into a frame to move to a frame we have a command called driver dot switch to dot frame and the frame id is stored in this ele particular right just mention the ele here that's it guys now your selenium script knows there is a frame inside the uh, web page and the id of the frame is logon box so please go to the frame id switch to this frame and then start the further execution so let us execute our script this time
I hope guys this concept is pretty clear. I am making it as easy as possible for me. If you are facing any issues with this website, please mention in the comments. This is a tricky website. All right guys, one browser is invoked. And it will click on the sign in button. Now it is uh, direct getting to the home page where it will uh, it will enter the credentials now. And this time you see the credentials are entered in their boxes. In the earlier execution, our data could not be sent to the check boxes. This was because of the frame issue. With the help of these two lines, these two lines our selenium script ran successfully this is the beauty of using frames in selenium now frames is a tricky concept and sometimes it creates problem but i think i made you clearly understand how to handle frame in an easy way right i have also printed uh, how many iframe tags are used in the entire web page and the output is one only one iframe is used I hope guys this video was very helpful and if you do find it helpful please like and if you are facing any issues with frames in this website because this is a tricky website please don't forget to mention in the comments section. I will also be providing you my email address so that you can directly contact me on that and I can solve your queries. Thank you and stay tuned.